Welcome, my name is Frank Schneider. And I'm Robin. And today I will explain what we learned from benchmarking 15 deep learning optimizers over more than 50,000 training runs. This is a summary of our paper descending through a crowded valley, benchmarking deep learning optimizers, which is joint work together with Robin Schmidt and Philip Hennig. So 10 years ago, there were three main optimization methods used for training deep neural networks, stochastic gradient descent, momentum, and Nesterov momentum. Since then, stochastic optimization has been a focal point of research and resulted in an ever-growing list of methods. And there are so many, in fact, that we can't possibly fit them on these slides here. In our paper, we list more than 150 optimization methods that have been designed for or applied to deep learning, and this list is still most likely incomplete. Unfortunately, there is little theoretical insight that would rank these methods, and the only empirical evidence is provided by the original works. As a result, there is an often unclear and ever-changing state of the art when it comes to deep learning optimizers that is occasionally driven more by hype and social media than grounded evidence. Therefore, we conducted a large-scale optimizer benchmark to ground the debate on independent third-party empirical evidence. We tested 15 of the most popular optimization methods, and these include traditional methods, methods such as SGD or Atom, but also recent methods such as look-ahead, aim is bound, or out of belief. And all optimizers were tested on eight different test problems, which range from simple confnets to wide resonance, VAEs, and RNNs. To tune the hyperparameters of each method, we test four different budgets. In the one-shot case, we do not tune at all and instead use the default hyperparameters. And the small, medium, and large bu budgets then use 25, 50, and 75 tuning runs using random search. On top of this, for every optimizer problem and tuning budget, we applied four different schedules for the learning rate. For each possible combination of problem, optimizer, tuning, and schedule, we identified the best high parameter setting and re-ran it 10 times with different seeds to test statistical fidelity. So Robin will now tell you about some of the insights we gained from analyzing the resulting 50,000 training runs. We first want to test how well optimizers work out of the box when using their default parameters. For this, we compare their untuned one-shot performance on the y-axis with their tuned performance on the x-axis. The large heat map shows the change in performance after tuning for a confnet on Cypher 10, with the smaller heat maps showing four other problems. Looking, for example, at the bottom left cell of the large heat map, we can see that going from SGD with its default parameters to a tuned version of AMS bound results in a 2.4% performance increase. An orange row in this figure therefore indicates that optimizer's default setting is performing badly since it can be beaten by any tuned competitor. We can observe orange rows for SGD, momentum, and Nesterov momentum on multiple problems supporting the intuition that non-adaptive methods require more tuning. Conversely, a white or even blue row signals well-performing default settings since even tuned optimizers do not significantly outperform it. Adam, Nedam, and Redam, as well as AMS bound, ADA bound, and ADA belief all have white and blue rows on several but not all problems. We can also look at the performance of all optimizers across all eight test problems. Here, each vertical axis represents the performance on one task, and the higher the line of an optimizer, the better the performance on this task. There is no single optimizer that dominates its competitors across all tasks. Instead, the lines often cross each other. Nevertheless, some optimizers generally perform well and land near the top. This is, for example, the case for Adam here, shown with a red line. And more current methods fail to show a significant and consistent performance improvement over it. Here we show all optimizers tuned with the large budget using the long trapezoid schedule, but results from other budgets and schedules support our conclusions. To summarize our paper, we have performed an extensive benchmark of 15 popular optimization methods for deep learning. Analyzing more than 50,000 individual training runs, we can see some structure in this crowded field of training methods. There is currently no method that significantly and consistently outperforms the competition. The comparably traditional Atom remains a viable choice that often ranks near the top and is a good choice as an out-of-the-box solution. In some scenarios, trying out different optimizers with their default parameters helps about as much as tuning the parameters of one specific method. There are many more technical observations which you can find in our paper or by browsing our repository. We have made all data of our benchmark available open source and you can use them, for example, as well-tuned baselines for benchmarks of future optimizers. Perhaps the most important takeaway from our study is hidden in plain sight. The field is in danger of being drowned by noise. We don't say this to discourage research in this area, but we hope that benchmarks like ours can help the community move beyond inventing yet another conceptually similar optimizer and instead focus on key challenges such as automatic inner loop tuning. Thank you.